This episode is brought to you by Somat. Made epic pork buns? Got an epic pile of dirty dishes? So what? Somat is designed to make things sparkly clean even when using the eco-friendly dishwashing cycle on your machine. So if you choose to make the switch to eco-friendly cycles to save water and energy, try Somat. Now we know who's doing the dishes, let's make some buns. Crispy, crunchy bun, sweet, sticky barbecue pork center. I mean, this type of bun is like Michelin level, guys. These are my version of the famous Chinese baked barbecue pork bun. All right, so I don't wanna be like all dramatic here, but these pork buns are like life changing. <laughs> They've got this like beautiful crispy exterior and they're so like sweet, salty, crunchy kind of thing going on, a little sticky with the barbecue pork. I first had them at Tim Ho Wan, a Michelin starred restaurant in Hong Kong, and I've been trying to crack the recipe ever since. So here we go, guys, I'm gonna walk you through it. There's topping, there's dough, there's sticky barbecue pork bun filling, there's a lot of things going on, but we can do it together so that you get the best baked pork bun ever. Like you, Dax. <laughs> and me, because I love eating these things. All right, so the first thing we need to do is make like a little um, sort of starter paste, if you like. So I need just some plain all-purpose flour and some water. Now you just want to whisk this until you get kind of like a really thick paste going on. I've just got the heat on about medium-high at the moment. Okay, so once you've got this like thick pasty business going on, now you want to go in with some milk. And you just keep whisking until you get like a thick custard consistency. Okay, so this is the kind of situation you're after. It's almost like a thick gravy actually, thick custard, whatever you like. But what we need to do is let it cool down before we do anything else with it. So I'm gonna get started on the rest of the dough while I'm waiting for that to happen. Uh, now, I have some plain um, low protein flour. So like a cake flour, if you can manage it, you'll get the best result from that. And I'm just gonna add that into my sieve here and some skim milk powder. Also want some yeast. And I just need a little dash of salt here as well, some caster sugar, and now just sieve that into your bowl. All right, so coming back to the little paste that we're making on our stove top, it's cooled down quite a bit now, so I'm gonna add an egg into there. I do wanna whisk it first. Now the reason obviously I didn't add the egg in when it was hot is because I don't want scrambled eggs. Um, now, keep whisking and pour that in. Now this goes into my flour mix. Now we just want to mix this until the dough starts to come together and then we're going to add in the butter. So now you can see that dough is just starting to come together. I'm going to add in the butter a little at a time. Once the butter's in there, then you want to increase the speed to like a medium, so go a little faster and then keep that mixing for another like 10 minutes till the dough is really beautifully smooth. All right, so once you have a dough that looks like this, very smooth, really very satisfying kind of dough. All right, um, just take that dough out onto a floured bench top. Just kind of give it a final little knead and shape it into a nice little ball. Now this dough is not very complicated. It was very complicated testing this dough uh, to get it just right because it's really, it's really the texture of the dough and then also the texture of the topping that's coming a little bit later, the crunchy topping that gives you the really beautiful baked barbecue pork bun experience. So it's very exciting. This dough is looking really beautiful already. Pop that into a greased bowl. Now just cover that up and let that dough do its thing for about an hour until it's doubled in size. So while our dough is doing its thing, let's get on to doing the filling. So I'm starting off here with some barbecue pork. Now, 
I am lucky because I happen to choose to keep a whole bunch of Chinese barbecue pork in my freezer because I can't live without it. <laughs> I have a recipe on how to make this, but you can just as easily use a Chinese restaurant version as well if you like, if you don't want to go to the trouble of making it yourself. Um, but you want it nice sort of like diced into very small, like smallish kind of cubes. And to that you want to add some soy sauce. sugar, some hoisin sauce, some Chinese Shaoxing wine. Okay, so just give that a really good mix. And the thing is here, we want like a really kind of sticky, thick sauce kind of situation going on, but we need to get the right texture so that you don't have too much runny sauce leaking out of your bun. It's really quite tricky. Um, but luckily I have the perfect ratios here. <laughs> we just want a little bit of water. Now head to my website if you want the recipe uh, for all of these things. Uh, I've got all the weights, times, measurements listed there. And I also want to add some corn flour that I'm going to mix with a little bit more water as well. And that's going to sort of take that sauce and turn it into something thick and sticky and glossy. Now that pork is already cooked, so we're not waiting for the pork or anything. I'm really just waiting for the sauce. So just keep stirring that until you get something that looks a little bit like this. Okay, so this is what you're looking for, guys. Um, see how it's all sticky and glossy in here. It's not too runny. It's just that perfect amount of like, oh, I can smell that perfect amount of like porky, saucy kind of thing going on. All right, guys, filling is done. One, check. Uh, dough is done, check. We've got one final thing to make, and that is the topping that goes on the top of our bun. This is like the secret. This is the secret that gives you that lovely, salty, sweet kind of crunch. So for this, I need some flour, and I'm gonna go to the trouble of sifting this three times to give us as much air and lightness as possible. Now, I also need to cream some butter. I'm gonna do that with some icing sugar. All right, so I need a little bit of salt in here as well. And then you wanna mix this for about four or five minutes or until everything is really lovely and fluffy and really pale and golden. All right, so things are looking really lovely and fluffy in here. Now, I just wanna get these eggs sort of lightly whisked. And then just slowly kind of add those eggs gradually uh, as everything kind of mixes together. Okay, so now you've got this mixture that's like less than Instagrammable at the moment. <laughs> but we are going to fold in the flour now. And just kind of mix and fold until that flour is completely incorporated. And it kind of like, it's like the texture of icing at this point. It's quite thick. It should be like lovely and pipeable, if you know what I mean. You don't want it to collapse or be too runny. So that's looking pretty good to me. I'm gonna get this straight into a piping bag. I just kind of like twist that down so that that's ready to go. All right, let's get on to rolling and filling our little buns. We are nearly there, everyone. Your patience will be rewarded. All right, so we've got our dough here and getting very nice indeed. Oh, it's so, it's so smooth and lovely. I love a fresh dough. Okay, so let's pop that out onto your bench top. I've got a little bit of flour down here. A little bit more flour on top. And basically I just want to divide this up. So I need 20 pieces. So however, whatever the easiest method of doing that is evenly. Okay, so now we can start rolling out our dough. And what you wanna do is just take a piece and it's almost like we're just rolling out like a giant dumpling wrapper. So just roll this into a circle first. And then you wanna roll the edges so that the edges are thinner than the center part. So exactly like you would a very traditional um, dumpling wrapper because, and you'll see when we get to the folding, because you need the edges to be thinner than the center in order to get the perfectly shaped bun in my opinion. 
Okay, so hopefully you can see that like the center part is definitely thicker, the edges are thinner. And what you wanna do now is just grab a kind of heaped teaspoon, a very generous teaspoon of your pork mixture. And now it's kind of like a xiaolong bao folding technique or a soup dumpling folding technique. So grab a hold of, um, like use your little pincer fingers here, grab a hold of the dough, and then just keep pleating and folding, pleating and folding all the way around. And the thing that I found with these is that if you don't kind of do this method of twisting and then pulling off just that final little bit of dough, you kind of get a base that has too much dough, if you like. Like I really want the nicest, most even kind of coverage all the way around, top and bottom. So that's the best way to do it. And then you have your lovely little bun round there. So go on a tray and just keep going. Practice makes perfect with your um, folding method. So you'll get it by the end, I promise. So now you should have all of your little buns lined up. Just cover them with some cling film and you want to give them another 30 minutes just to puff up a little bit. So for the topping part, it's kind of a little tricky. If you're great at piping, you're going to be great at this. So I would probably give myself maybe like a five out of 10 for piping, but so that means that if I can do it, you can totally do it. Uh, but what you want to do is uh, start in the center, pipe around. You want to be, make this as even as possible. And this is kind of like going to melt down around the bun and form that lovely crispy crunchy top which is like you know the calling card of this type of baked bun now these just need to go into the oven 15 or 16 minutes or until they're really lovely and crunchy but not too dark you want them to be a lovely kind of blonde color come back in 15 minutes and see Okay, so kitchen currently smelling like pork bun heaven. Let's have a look in the oven and see. Oh, they look so good. I mean, this is just the perfect amount of color. Beautiful blonde, not too dark, but I think the real test is when we get in here and have a look. So let's get these out on a plate. Chili and soy sauce, great way to serve these guys. But the real thing we want to have a look at here is what is happening inside this bun. Let's have a look. I love that, that first reveal. Look at that beautiful pastry. I mean, you've got that lovely crispiness, that crispiness that you're getting at the top there from that beautiful topping we put on there and that sticky pork. Oh my goodness, that smells so good. I am so excited. See how you've got just that, that, just that perfect amount of that filling in there and that beautiful even layer of that dough. Oh, so good. Chili and soy sauce, total must for me. Mm. I mean, this to me is like, it's the ultimate bite, right? Because you've got all the texture, you've got that crunchiness, um, the soft bun, but then you've got like the sweet and salty thing going on as well, and the sticky pork and like all the things. Mm. Oh, so good. Literally guys, if you have not tried these, like if you haven't been to Hong Kong, or you haven't been to a Chinese restaurant that serves these crispy baked barbecue pork buns, you have not lived. Oh, you need to try this, like need to. Okay, so I've made the most delicious pork buns, but now I have the most delicious mess. <laughs> or not so delicious. <laughs> I've literally used like every dish in the entire kitchen. I don't think there's even any chance that there are any more dishes that I could possibly use. Anyway, final step, do the dishes. Hey friends, I hope you enjoyed that one. If you did, why not hit the like button? And even better, I would love so much if you would subscribe and even hit that little bell button so you get notified every time I release a new delicious video. Thanks guys.